lesson now uh, this is a blues song in the key of D seventh or D9 and really the purpose of teaching this I wanted to show you a lick I thought it would be a little more interesting in using it in an application of a song the lick is this I'll play it and talk it out which is basically the uh, verse or the kind of the catchphrase in this blues song Okay, so we're in the key of D, which normally is at the 10th fret, no pedals. This is a pedals down lick. So the lick is this. You go ahead and go to your 5th fret, which is your A fret. But we're using it as a pedals down position. And what I mean by that is if you pressed A and B pedals down here at the 5th fret, played your major groups, you would have a D chord. Now we're going to go ahead and press our B pedal down. We pick our 10th string at the 5th fret, slide it up, slide it back to the 5th, and press the A pedal. So B pedal is down, and you'll see why here in just a second. You pick your 10th string at the 5th fret, slide it to the 6th, slide it back to the 5th, and press the A pedal when you get back to the 5th. We're picking it one time. So we're going like, okay, again, pick your 10th string at the 5th fret one time, slide it to the 6th, back down to the 5th, as soon as you get back down to the 5th, you depress your A pedal. Then now we have A and B pedals down, we go 8, 7, 6. Okay, A and B are still down. You pick five, six, five without the A pedal down, six, then pick five, six, seven, six. All right, so again, That's the first part of the lick. So 10th string, 5th fret, B pedals down. You pick your 10th string, 5th fret, slide it to the 6th, slide it back to the 5th, press your A pedal down. As soon as you get back, pick 8, 7, 6. Okay, now we have both pedals down. We pick 5, 6, then five without the A pedal, six, seven, six. Okay, now that's the lick and that's in any pedals down position. So the next part of the song after you play that through twice, it goes to the G chord. Now, to do the pedals down lick for G, you simply go to the 10th fret. And I'm not going to talk it out because it's the same exact lick. Then it goes back to D, which you do the lick here out of the 5th fret. Okay, 
Okay, the little chorus part or the little uh, next section, section two, we're going to go uh, to an A flat. So let's go to our fourth fret. We pick five, six, nine. That's the only group we're going to use with the A pedal down throughout every one of these chords. We pick it at the fourth, third, first, second, fourth, fifth, fourth. So let's start at the fourth. That's an A flat. You go down one fret to the third fret, play the same thing. That's for the G chord. Then it goes to the first fret was an F. Second fret, G flat, F sharp. Now we're going to go back here to the fourth fret. We're going to play this also over a D. Fifth fret, it's going to play over an E flat. It's going to resolve back to the fourth fret. And that part sounds like this. Okay, so if you're playing the song, you do this lick two times for D. Then it goes to G, you play an over G chord, you go to the 10th fret, do the same exact lick you did here, but now you're starting in 10. You go back to the D, you're over D now, you go back to the 5th fret, play it one time. Then you do the little second section of the song, which is A flat, G, F, G flat. Then you're gonna substitute this chord now for D, E flat, D. Okay, and then that's the song. Uh, I'm not going to get into a theory on this, but we'll, we'll talk about tritone substitution sometime. And uh, that's kind of what we're doing here with this second section of the song. But I, the main thing, again, at the outset is that you're doing this lick. That is a pedals down lick. So uh, on this particular song, we will have a tab and backing track available for it. So you can check that out. So as you're doing this song, break it down like I always say it, and there's two sections. You have this one lick that's repeating in D and in G. So pedals down lick, you do it at the fifth fret for D, you do it at the 10th fret for G. The second section is simply one group, five, six, nine, with the A pedal down, and we play it at the fourth, third, first, second, fourth, fifth, fourth. And then if you want to end the song, you can simply go to your third fret and just play eight, seven, six, five with your ED flat knee lever in. That's simply a D6 chord. Or you can go to your 10th fret. Since we're out of D, if you want to end it, you can go five, uh, four, six, nine. If you want to, just the ending chord, because you want to end in the, actually in the key that you're in. You're out of D, 7th, D, ninth, whichever one you want to call it. 
All right, so give this a try and let me know what you think. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and hope it helps you. I uh, just wanted to mention that my family and I recently had to evacuate due to Hurricane Laura, but thankfully that we're okay and everything worked out well for us. But I know that there are lots of families in Southeast Texas and Louisiana that were really affected and decimated by the storm. So I wanted to mention the following. Uh, we wanted to offer a direct way for our followers to donate to the relief effort. We are currently offering a link to donate in the description to the Cajun Navy, which is a group who do relief and rescue efforts during major storms. Now, they've done a lot of work around our area in the past during storms and are currently working in the affected areas of Hurricane Laura. Uh, we donated to them recently, and we would encourage you to do so as well. Here on the channel, we've got some new things going on. I wanted to mention that at this time. We're currently offering early access to a collection of recorded songs. Now you can find out more about this by either clicking the join button below or going to our Patreon site. And as always, hope y'all enjoyed the video. So make sure to press the like and subscribe buttons. That'll help us out on our channel. If you want to support us here on YouTube monetarily, as well as receive early access to videos and other benefits in the process, you can press the join button below. There is a tab and backing track available for this lesson, and you can get those and around 70 others on our Patreon site by clicking the Patreon link. We also offer early access to and other benefits there as well. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons, uh, you can contact me about those through my email address in the description. So as always, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and Jake and I appreciate you, and keep picking.